Okay, um, the person composing the music for Sylph um, goes by the name of Morty, and this is to assist him in understanding the way current sound effects are implemented in game. Um, what's the menu? Uh, this is to accompany just a raw list of the sound effects currently being used. Um, so first things first, once you get to the menu here, um, there is a sound effect for actually, of course, traversing the menu options. Right now, that's just something I came up with. It's extremely primitive and terrible. It's actually just white noise um, with reverb on it uh, fading out. Oh, the short fade in for the attack. Um, so that obviously needs a sound effect. Uh, there's a different sound effect uh, whenever you select uh, one of the menu options. This was actually a PC speaker sound effect from the game Sorcerian for DOS um, for its menus. So for example, if we go to here. So there's a separate effect for actually making a selection and for moving around the menu, for example, again. So this menu is the button mapping menu where you just set up your gamepad buttons to whatever you want. Okay. Let's choose mission one here. Okay, these are the uh, five basic weapons. These are not just the weapons available to the player ship, but also to enemy ships. Um, I'm probably going to add additional weapons for enemy ships, but they can use one or two uh, weapons of any of these combinations. Uh, this one is forward beam, it shoots straight forward. Uh, this is phalanx, it shoots forward and out to the side. This is V, it just forms a V pattern in front of you. Uh, this is auto-aim, which currently in Sylph actually doesn't auto-aim at all. It just uh, shoots bullets in a sort of spread uh, randomly in front of you. And this is the best weapon, completely different than the others. Uh, that's the laser. Um, so each of these currently uses the same sound effect. Um, actually, when the player ship fires these, it uses one sound effect. And when an NPC or enemy ship fires any of these weapons, it uses a second sound effect. Uh, just so the player won't confuse his own weapon fire with enemy weapon fire. Um, all, of, all of that could be changed potentially. Um, probably be a good idea just to make the weapons more distinctive, uh, to have a different sound effect uh, for each one. So for now we're just going to choose the basic forward beam. Um, also I've disabled the music uh, for, for these testing purposes here. And, uh, actually, right before we jump into that, this is uh, another menu, which has its own selection sound effects um, that are different than the main menu uh, sound effects. So that's when you move around, and of course, as you've already heard, when you select it, it makes a different sound. These are just uh, public domain, Creative Commons, License Zero uh, sound effects that I downloaded. Okay, now when you fire, it fires both. I'm going to pause this. When you fire, it fires both guns simultaneously. Um, it does that for all the weapons. So it actually plays the sound effect twice simultaneously, which in effect amplifies it. So let me unpause it and let's fire the uh, cannons here. Pretty straightforward. Also a free sound effect. Now you can hear the difference between the player ship sound effect and the enemies. Pause it again. Okay, now there's also a sound effect when your shield gets hit here. It's a bit of a hissing sound. Let's try it again. Right there. You hear the hissing sound when, uh, when your ship gets hit. Um, when your ship runs into an enemy ship, um, as long as your ship still has shields, you don't hear a collision sound effect. However, if uh, the enemy ship doesn't have shields, or if your ship doesn't have shields, uh, it actually plays the sound of the ship's hulls, you know, metal, uh, hitting against each other. Um, so that's yet another sound. Um, whenever two ships collide and one of the ships uh, does not have shields and its hull is taking collision damage, it 
it actually plays two different sound effects. Uh, first, there's the banging sort of deep bass sound that you heard, and the second is sort of a metal creaking sound effect. If you think of a, a submarine underwater, uh, under extreme pressure with its hull actually starting to buckle slightly. So let's try that again. Generate another ship. There. Right there, that sort of creaking sound you heard. And of course there's the explosion sound effect. There's actually, actually a few explosion sound effects. Try another collision. You heard the creaking and the banging there. And some shield impact sounds. Okay, that is the sound effect of actually getting a power-up. Um, when you shoot the little meteor, it just gives you a typical explosion sound effect. But when you collide with the upgrade that it releases, it has a different sound effect. Something that sort of lets you know, hey, this is good, you got something great. I'll show that again. Oh, I missed it. Oh, nice. Let's make another one. A little debug feature. Okay, I think we've seen about all there is to see here as far as sound effects. So let's get out of here and do something fun, like equip a laser. That has a different sound effect right now. All the other weapons sound the same, but the laser has a different sound effect. Pretty high pitch, pretty clear. Ironically, it sounds weak, despite how powerful the laser is, as you see here. I got him and the power up at the same time. Oops. That's another sound effect that I added actually. There's sort of a very bassish sound when you hit an enemy. It repeats with each hit. The laser hits multiple times. That just sort of reinforces the fact that you've hit an enemy. Sort of punctuate the hit to make it sound a bit meatier. Pause it here. It's not quite as noticeable with the regular guns, but with the laser, which hits multiple times extremely quickly, uh, the repetition of that bass sound effect brings it out a bit more. Okay, we're going to go to a different stage here. And I'm going to create some turrets. Uh, whenever an enemy's shields are down and you're actually striking their armor, um, there's actually a sort of metallic sound that it plays as though you're chipping away at its armor. It does the same thing for the player ship. So we're going to go to a base stage. Um, I'm going to equip regular forward cannons and I'm going to generate, generate some turrets uh, which have strong armor so you can hear that sound. Let me get up to him. Get through their shields. There. Sort of hear the clanking sound of um, the armor being hit. Again, with that ship, you can hear it. I'm about to die. Alright. Let's try that again. For the last bit of uh, effects that are currently implemented in game. We have the force fields, which are a recent addition. We got something a little heavier here. We do dual V cannons. Okay, there are a few sound effects for the uh, fields. You can see them engaging here. Let me pause it. 
Um, there's actually going to be a uh, sound effect for when um, a force field is actually initialized or turned on. Um, so you can hear it sort of power on to let you know, hey, there's something here. Uh, so you see the force field power on, and then it sort of fades out, but it's still there. You won't see it again until you run into it or until you shoot it. So when you shoot it, currently it just uses the, the shield impact sound effect. I'd like to have... I'd like to have a different sound effect for when you actually uh, shoot a force field. So this is what it sounds like here. And there is also a sound effect for when you destroy a force field. Um, so let's try that out if it doesn't kill me first. <laughs> Whoops, didn't see that one, did I? <laughs> uh, so that pretty much covers it for the sound effects. Um, Morty, uh, I'll have sent you a list of actually all the sound effects in-game and upload those to our Dropbox, our shared Dropbox um, folder um, by the time you receive this so you can take a look at what's already there. And uh, maybe you can toss around some ideas. You can do some experimentation with generating some uh, replacement sound effects. So I just I really wanted to show you this so you can see exactly how uh, the different effects are currently implemented in game. Um, hopefully that'll that'll help you um, when you're playing around with coming up with some uh, new ones uh, that are obviously going to be a lot better than the crap that I'm currently using. So that about wraps it up.